up, what's up? So here we go, Gerard College. Um, James G. Spady, a major writer um, uh, in literary and Afro diaspora. Um, the reason we're in this spot is because his, one of his mentors were, um, was um, Cecil B. Moore. And Cecil B. Moore, the lawyer, a black lawyer that fought for civil rights black people, um, especially in Philadelphia, they helped black people get up in this uh, Gerard College because at one point, you know, Gerard College only accepted white orphan boys and now black boys were able to get in here as well. But that didn't happen. It happened strategically. Uh, it was a method that Cecil B. Moore used and James G. Spady was right along with that fight um, during the 60s. Now we got Remembering Selma and Philadelphia 50 years later, 1965. Historical narrative of Cecil B. Moore and the platoon of young, courageous warriors who made history at Gerard College. So he started this one off. Copyright James G. Spady, 2015. Scoop USA, Friday, November 6, 2015. I had to kick their law into their teeth in order to save them. However, I heard that sometimes you have to deal devilishly with drowning men in order to swim them to shore. Or they will haul themselves and you too, the trash, and the fish beneath. When I think of this, I do not worry about a few chipped teeth. By Pozar Prize-winning poet Gwendolyn Brooks. Considerable attention has been given to Selma, both the award-winning film and the historical activity. Yet, in Philly, we have only begun to uncover the rich history of Cecil B. Moore and the movement of human rights and justice that followed 2,000 seasons of denial and anti-democratic violence in the very cradle of democracy. Fortunately, there are many who participated in this mass movement before and after Gerard College. Should not our children be taught this in Philadelphia's public school and at the university level as well? We are tired of conferring. We're not going to waste time discussing labor unions or cops who beat up, beat us up. We're going to do something about it. Attorney Cecil B. Moore. This is James G. Spady starting this article. It was right along with that fight um, during the 60s. And it was the freedom fighters. Uh, you had Karen uh, Smith, she's a freedom fighter. Then you had Smitty, it wasn't um, Freedom Karen Smitty. Smith. He it's was Karen also a fighter, Asper. a Muslim that was a this fighter in there. Overdone. And one of the things that they chant, um, that they, not chant, I'm not gonna get into the chant, but what they did was got blacks over this wall. But it was a serious fight. And these are the civil rights that we were going through in Philadelphia. And James G. Spady, he wrote about Cecil B. Moore. Um, he wrote about this event. And James G. Spady is a very complex literary African uh, studies, Afro-diaspora studies man that understood these things, especially when it came to Philadelphia. And we had Gerard College and now is black people in this school. But that didn't happen easy. So we're gonna take you and I'm gonna show you the wall. So walk with me down here and we're gonna see this wall, how tall this wall was. Because at this wall, you had white kids that were throwing stuff over to black kids while they walking by. So this is 
we had to get up in here. Like, you're not going to be in this area with a whole bunch of black people and we not getting and benefiting this school. You know what I'm saying? Gerard College, he's a rich philanthropist, I guess. Well, not I guess, you know. And that's what he spent his money on. But he only wanted white kids and white boys. But she should be more James Spady, Karen, uh, Freedom Smitty, Freedom Karen. They stopped that by out here. Cops were beating them up. Cops were stopping. You can go online and you can see this. It's a documentary on it. But I'm talking about what James G. Spady did in his literary work to help people acknowledge A friend of mine, a colleague as well, he uh, told me, he said, Hawk, you got to look at the uh, dedications. When Spady starts off his articles, he always have dedicated to. And this is an example. I'm not going to read all the dedication people he he said, but this is just an example. So if he start off his article, and this is something he did, so it's copyright James G. Spady, 2015. Scoop USA, Friday, October 30th, 2015, page 7. Um, I got to do that because you got to let it be known that this is, uh, him. So the same way you would read a text, I'm, I'm just giving you the, um, reference. Um, so, uh, this is how he would start off the article. Way Black Memories. Way Black Memories also copyrighted by James G. Spady, 2015. He copyrighted that. He coined that way black memory. That's his way of going back. So that's that's James G. Spady's. So um, I just have to, once again, I put that out there because I'm doing a film read text and literary film. Um, so I have to put way black memories. Karen asked for Jordan. We were young watching our people beaten on television. Cecil B. Moore Esquire, LeBaron of the court. Not LeBron, LeBaron. Singleness of vision morphed into the intense illumination achieved by that vision of liberated future. Caught between mediating faith and a tragic balance of tra transformative dynamic. Critical and philosophical spaces carved out in white oligarchic city. Existing somewhere between 1630 and 1930. The man's head was turned and every time Cecil made a move. The sacred temple fell under the weight of black people's strategic moves and the clear sounding trumpet of Lee Morgan. The established order plunged deeper into the tree dense night of the mountain. See how that writing establishes what Karen Asper Jordan and Kenna Freedom Smitty Salam is about to do in North Philly. And this article is about Gerard College and fighting to get black people inside that school. James G. Spady was a master at communicating black existence to black people and other people across the world. Letting you know how deep this historical events in history of our people was important. So let's take a look at this wall, how this wall would fit. Walk with me down here. I don't have my microphone. 
But he was able to write about that and talk about Cecil B. Moore and be a part of it as well. And that helped blacks get over that wall. And we was able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why these histories are important. But how do you get this history? How do you get this knowledge from people like James Dixon? Um, he was able to write about Cecil B. Moore and his actions. Uh, Freedom Smitty, Freedom Karen, and their actions to break these uh, cycles. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then we're gonna go to Broad and we're gonna go to Broad and Cecil B. Moore, and you're gonna get to see a little treat. I'm gonna show you that James G. Spady was able to get done. So we're gonna we're gonna take you over there. All right. So let's walk. Also, these are the same streets that James G. Spady talk about his friend that helped start the Black Arts Movement, Larry Neal. James G. Spady was a very complex writer, very complex literary person. The way he wrote his his com his commentary and his writings and all his dramatic, beautiful work, it, it was almost like his poetry, but not but facts. Um, so it's incredible work. You gotta know this. So let's go to uh, Cecil B. Moore. This Cecil B. Moore, also where Meek Mill come from, and Spady wrote about Meek Mill in a very dynamic way. It's a lot, a lot to this. You know what I mean? A very complex person. So we're gonna do that, and let's roll out. So where we at? We at Cecil B. Moore Avenue, right? Now this is two things going on. Cecil B. Moore, you gotta understand who he was. A major lawyer that did a lot for black people right here in Philadelphia. And James G. Spady, which was a writer, he understood that. And not only are we at Cecil B. Moore, the actual name of the street, but also this is the same area where Meek Mill come from too. And he also wrote about him as well. So he not only writing about uh, just African diaspora on the level of talking about civil rights movements and things that happened that Cecil B. Moore got kids, uh, black kids in Gerard College, but he also writing about major figures such as Meek Mill, which is an MC out of Philly. And he's giving you in-depth story about these black people. And then you have Sonia Sanchez, a female black woman that's also came to Philadelphia out of the nation of uh, Islam and became a major poet. So these are the people that James Spady is constantly writing about. Now, we on the Cecil B. Moore block. So let's walk down. We're gonna walk down. And also, you got Marcus Garvey, the uh, NAAC, I mean, the um, UNIA, my fault, uh, is down there as well, which is Marcus Garvey. So we're gonna walk down the block, and just so you can get the just of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? This is. Meek Mill, he's walked down this block a million times. Cecil B. Moore, walked down this block a million times, dealing with the people. Cecil B. Moore, dealing with a lot of his clients right in this area. But how do we know that? We know that because James G. Spady is writing about these major figures. So, Meek Mill, walked down this block a million times. Cecil B. Moore, walked down this block. So let's take a walk with me and we're gonna show you. Thanks a lot, boy. No problem. All right, brother, take it easy. And this article is Meek Mill and Little Snoop and one of Meek Mill and Rick Ross. Meek Mill's captivative, captive 
Philadelphia audience through transcultural circulation, innovation, the global cipher, and your moon hip-hop black Atlantic rhymes and sounds. That's the entire article, right? <clears throat> That's the title of the article in this Scoop magazine. Now, once again, like I said, my my friend, my colleague pointed out a dedication. Now, I got to read the dedication because that's part of how this article uh, starts off. It says, <clears throat> dedicated to little Snoop, uh, Abu Ali, Buju Ladi, French Montana, Ice Prince, Kid, Wiz Kid, uh, the v Vito, Jazzy. DJ Drama, Rick Ross, Eve, uh, let me see, Eve, Lexus, Buju Bantan, Bob Marley, Hakeem, Jeb, uh, Hakeem, uh, Jeb, what is it, Zeb, Jeb, Khalid, Wizkid, Grandmaster Nell, and the Funk, and the Funk Funk Nation, Grandmaster Rashid, Perry P, the Immortal B Force, Schooly D, Lady B, Peter Tosh, DJ Khalid, Sheb Mike Mammy, Lady Saul, Jackie O, Malika, oh my fault, Jackie O, Malika Love, Cosmic Kev, Beanie Siegel, Malika Love, uh. Hot Blast, yours truly. And I think he put Hakeem in there talking about me as well. Um, But he knows how to do that. You know what I mean? So he says, Hot Blast, Pastor Troy, Cool G, Cool G, talking about Cool G rap. Uh, Red Bull, Red Bull is from Philly, or a female rapper that he put in Twisted Tales. Freeway, and the postmodern avatar of Afrobeat hip hop renaissance. So you see, that's just the dedication before you start off this Meek Mill um, uh, incredible article. So let's go into the article, just the first paragraph, I mean the first two paragraphs that I'll read. Uh, Sonic bodies in motion as Gucci Man anthem lights the air. Sound clashes in Trench Town's signal nightclub. Petey Crack. Speeding up his rhyme as Nicki Minaj shows hers down, slows hers down. We rolling through the streets of the city as twisted tells fill the air. All moving toward Wells Fargo with that sick ass hip hop cargo. Man, what? What cub? What is over? Limelight hiding under the searchlight. Lights beaming in the sky. But out in Nigeria, they moving inside at the heart mountain moves with the seasonal wind in the middle of the wheel. They entering the VIP section before going near the cave. Some folk want to call it the tunnel. Whatever. This massive, missive crowd are about to enter the doors of some old Millie-ish. Now that's how you start off Meek Mill's article. Can you imagine? What an incredible article. James G. Spady was the dope hip-hop historian. Bad. Now this is in the scoop. So he knew to give his North Philly, West Philly... Uh, Mount Airy, wherever you can get a scoop. And it was all over. It was a North Philly paper, but it was all over. But Spady gave it to you. And through um, Meek Mill. Meek Mill also being from uh, what 18th and Cecil B. Mill up in that area originally. And I know people say, oh, no, he's from South Philly. No, he's from North Philly. But he spent a lot of time in South Philly because it was cool. But this is the type of stuff Spady writes about. James G. Spady, an incredible uh, 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 master communicator, as my friend would say, as my man Kurt would say, uh, an incredible historian uh, Afro-diasporic 
hip hop cultural historian. James G. Spady was a bad boy, man. thing that Spady um, uh, talked about was Marcus Garvey. Spady always wrote about Marcus Garvey because these are people that's crucial to uh, our history and uh, if you read the book, uh, the Marcus Garvey book um, that Spady wrote, he talks about Marcus Garvey and he talked about the headquarters that were here in Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying, with Slappy being a major uh, person. <coughs> So this is one of the areas on Cecil B. Moore Avenue. And you see the sign here, Universal Negro uh, sign there, founded in 1917 by Barsky Garvey. This uh, movement inspired African Americans pride and encouraged self-reliance, spread news of interest to black and urged them to establish a national Africa. You know what I'm saying? Right in America or, and that's what you, he got that ship to do import export and Marcus Garvey was a major uh, subject in Spady's writings, you know what I mean? James Spady constantly dealt with the Marcus Garvey being with the foundation and stuff of that nature. Cecil B. Moore, Marcus Garvey, you understand? Black, right there. NAACP here and the uh, Negro uh, UNIA down the street, you know what I mean? You. These are major things that James Spady spoke about, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So let's take a walk up to uh, Broad and Gerard. Um, this is also Temple now, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. James G. Spady spent a lot of time in Temple as well, mm -hmm. gathering this type of information, and his writing was incredible. So like I said, we're going to take that walk up to uh, Broad and uh, Cecil B. Moore Avenue, and I got a surprise, I'm going to show you all something. So let's keep it moving. Marcus Garvey, Meek Mill, NAACP, UNIA, Spady wrote about it all. He was a hip-hop historian showing the blackness of hip-hop as well as the Afro-diaspora studies and ethos and the stuff that black people was getting it in. Spady gave you that. Let's get ready to roll up here. whole panel. Now this is Cecil B. Moore and he's breaking down the timeline of his uh, of his achievements in his life. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at Cecil B. Moore, you know Cecil B. Moore is right there. He's a major figure in our Philadelphia society. And what Spady did was he was a lot he allowed uh, you to see that. You know what I'm saying? We got all kinds of stuff going on. We in the street. We want Cecil B. Moore. So what better way for Spady to allow the average everyday person, North Philly person, especially the black young people or black old people or just people in general, you know what I'm saying? They walk it down here from the south to north and they stop and they see knowledge on Cecil B. Moore. And this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for James Spady's uh, method and which how he uh, allowed this information to be here on Cecil B. Moore uh, Avenue on Broad Street, a busy street in North Philly. You know what I'm saying? that James G. Spady did. This is just a small portion into the writer, uh, James G. Spady. This is just a small portion into the literary mind of James G. Spady. 
and the work that he did. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to walk to the next panel. So follow me. And we're going to walk down here. if you come in north that you would walk up on. It talks about Cecil B. Moore, early years of Cecil B. Moore, him with his family, him in the office in 1960, him with his, uh, um, you know, his colleagues, uh, talking about Cecil B. Moore uh, is his, as a sergeant. So James Spady really did major work in working with Cecil B. Moore. And it's here on this panel. So you see how important the work that James G. Spady did. So he really was able to give you that type of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You see the energy where we at and why it's important that James G. Spady got this information out. Very important. So let's let's walk over here. Um turn it off. We can keep it on. I wanted to show you, if you look across the street, you look across the street, if you look across the street, you'll see you got Wendy's, Barnes and Nobles, you got the uh, shops at the Avenue North, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a busy street, so more people can see uh, this extraordinary work that James G. Spady did on Cecil B. Moore Avenue. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's very important that we give you that history and that not we, Spady gave you that history. You know what I'm saying? This is why he's, he was a very important writer in our time, especially in uh, Philadelphia and across the world. You know what I'm so uh, we good. And, and, and that's it. I hope you uh, uh, come down to Philly if you're not a resident of Philadelphia. I hope that you come down and look at Cecil B. Moore's uh, panel in its exhibit. It's an exhibit right outside for you that Spady uh, developed for you. So I hope you come down and check it out, you know what I'm saying, um, and see these type of works. And you get to see what Cecil B. Moore really was and who he was, you know what I'm saying? And now you understand what James G. Spady did to get that knowledge out. Right? So if you're from anywhere across the world, oh, no. Cecil B. Moore, Right? You see it right there. Cecil B. Moore and Broad. And you get to see this panel. So if you're from overseas or you want to come here, you come and you see uh, the exhibit that we have on Cecil B. Moore. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and you get to come. And we buy Temple. You know what I'm saying? Temple University. So you get to see uh, what Cecil B. Moore, you can at least look at a glimpse into his life. And that's what uh, James G. Spady did. Allow the average, everyday person to come and see uh, this important icon. Right. Peace. Money, 